Jesus, we ask you to help us and set our spirits free that we spend this time before you in adoration, looking only to you. We are here to praise you, to glorify you, to give you thanks for every last thing that you have given us in our lives. Let your spirit come upon us, Jesus. Open our hearts, our minds, our souls to you this time. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All glory and honor is yours forever. Amen. You speak to us, Jesus. Come to me. I know your name. When you were being formed in the womb of your mother, I was there. I saw you even before you were born. I have and always have loved you. Come to me. You who are burdened, I will re refresh you. I will give you rest. Stay with me and listen. This is my house and you are welcome. I want you so much. I long that you experience my love. My love is like a fire, consuming all hatred, pride, sin, etc. I long to fill your life with my peace and my joy. 
here am I before you, imprisoned in my own house. Take me with you into your heart. Take me into your home, into your school, into your office, into your streets, into your dance halls. I need your feet, your hands, your voice, your heart to carry my love to a wounded world. Please take me in your heart. Amen. You gave your son power over the works of your hand. You gave your son power over the works of your hand. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to foil your enemies. You gave your son power over the works of your hand. You gave your son power over the works of your hand. When I see the heavens, the works of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man, that you care for him. You gave your son power over the works of your hand. You gave your son power over the works of your You have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hand. Put all things under his feet. You gave your son power over the works of your hand. You gave your son power over the works of your Our reading is taken from St. Luke's Gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, if anyone openly declares himself for me in the presence of men, the Son of Man will declare himself for him in the presence of God's angels. But the man who disowns me in the presence of men will be disowned in the presence of God's angels. Everyone who says a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit 
will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and magistrates and authorities, do not worry about how to defend yourselves or what to say, because when the time comes, the Holy Spirit will teach you what you must say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we see the power of the Holy Spirit. Very often in the Gospel passages, we don't hear very much about your Spirit. But your Spirit comes to guide us, to teach us, to help us to know what to say, what to do in situations. We just need to remember to call on the power of your Spirit into our lives, into our situations, and to make all things new. Jesus, we thank you for your Spirit. We thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit in the world. We thank you for all the times we've never acknowledged the presence of the Spirit guiding us in difficult times. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle within us the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of all the earth. Jesus, we live in a time where we need renewal, we need change, we need your Holy Spirit. We pray for all who are lost, those who are seeking direction, those who can't find their way and can't find answers to the problems of today. We pray, come, O oh Holy Spirit. Come, O oh Holy Spirit. Come, O oh Holy Spirit. We pray for all disunity in the world. Pray for the where there's war, Jesus. We pray for the, where there's discord in the families, communities that lock our heads with each other. We pray, come, O oh Holy Spirit. Come, O oh Holy Spirit. Come, O oh Holy Spirit. We ask you, Jesus, to send an outpouring of your Spirit and cover the entire face of the earth at this time. Let your spirit come. Let your spirit renew. Let your spirit help all of us who are in need of change, Jesus. Joy. 
Let's rejoice and be glad on the spirit filled day. Oh, Spirit of God, come fill the hearts of your people and renew the face of the earth by your great love with the fire and zeal of Pentecost live within us and forever change our lives the Spirit of God this is the day rejoice and be glad on this spirit-filled Eucharistic heart of Jesus, burning with love for me, inflame my heart with love for you, until with you I have one will, that I may love the things you love and do what you would do. You have said anyone who does the will of my father is brother and sister and mother to me. Center my life in the depth of your love, Jesus, that I may be free from the seductions of the flesh and the passing things of this world. Set my heart on you alone so that I may find my joy in your friendship, my treasure in your love, my wealth in your merits, my riches in your grace, my happiness in my union with you and my peace in the Father's will. Jesus, we are so grateful for your presence here in the Blessed Sacrament. We are so grateful for the Holy Spirit in the world today. You are our friend, Jesus, and you wait day and night in the Blessed Sacrament and in the tabernacles of the world longing that people come to you for the answers in which they search for. Set our spirits free, Jesus, to worship you. Set our spirits free, Jesus, to be with you. Set our spirits free, Jesus, to long for you and your way of life. Set our spirits free, Jesus, so as that we can be truly Christ-like with each other in the world today. For an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil men. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. And Jesus, we say our thanks to you with this beautiful hymn. We ask the Holy Spirit to come on the face of the earth.
Pandemic wars. The world is facing a grave socioeconomic crisis. Small and medium sized businesses are among the most affected. Despite these difficulties, with courage, effort, and sacrifice, they create well being opportunities, and work. Let's pray for small and medium-sized businesses. May they find ways to continue operating and serving their communities. Pray for the Pope's intention for the month of August. Pray with the Holy Father. Only on SW Prayer.